Hey friends, in today's video at HydroInch.com is going to be a tip for when you order uh, gasket kits and you end up missing uh, gaskets or parts of that kit. Some of the stuff may seem really entry level to you and it is. A lot of the passion behind HydroInch.com is really passing on those skill sets to the people that are entering into the field or those do-it-yourselfers that just haven't been exposed to that. So uh, laugh with me, uh, remember back when this has happened to you, and let's help uh, make some content for, uh, for that newbie that'll save them a lot of grief. Stay tuned. Hey, what are you doing? Have you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell? You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. All right, here's the dilemma. In this kit, I'm supposed to have four of these dang plastic washers, right? So I go through, I'm tearing the kit up, I've, I've dumped it out, I've, I've done everything, I've tore this thing up, and son of a gun, it's not in here, okay? I, I'm missing it, right? So early in my career, and I, I know I've worked with numerous students who have come up to me or technicians that work for me and said, man, this is missing something. And you think, okay, all right, we've got to order another one, and you're kind of at that mercy. Well, in today's world, we don't necessarily have gasket kits or these parts just always sitting on the shelf. Quite a bit of what we get has to be ordered in. We don't have the large inventories that uh, we had earlier. But the lesson in this video is that before you go freaking out, and, and keep in mind, I don't know how many times this has happened to you on a piece of furniture or a TV mount or anything. It always seems like they're missing something. My tip is whenever you get a gasket kit where the parts are loose and they're not in you know sealed Ziploc baggies or whatnot, make sure that you take the box and tear the box apart because let me show you where my missing washer was. I'll tell you, I may have to kind of laugh at myself. I spent way too much time looking for this, but the missing gasket was tucked into an ear of the box. <laughs> So it is there. That's the problem with these just all being loose. You want to make sure and open up every flap. Uh, this could be the same thing where you get your typical you know, box from uh, Amazon where something gets stuck into a flap. Maybe you buy buying something off eBay or you do uh, wherever it is you're buying stuff. So I, I hope that you can have a laugh with this tip. Um, I, I do feel it's important enough to get in front of those newbies and say, whoa, chill out. Especially people watching this that might be a dealer principal or a dealer owner, we have to think about uh, not taking for granted some of those skill sets that uh, we just need to expose people to so that they can move faster, be more efficient, and not run around pulling their hair out. So previous times in my career, I've uh, just reordered parts only to go throw the box away and then have it fall out of a flap. Super frustrating, a lot of loss of time and uh, profit on a job when stuff like that happens. So. There is my tip of the day. I hope that you're enjoying uh, the, the tips that we're putting on here. We are trying to create a new playlist that's more about the parts department or dealer services, things like that, that are going to help you be more profitable, more successful in the dealership. So share this stuff with someone that you think is in need or like it if you learn from it. But as always, make it a great day and keep wrenching.